Question one. Absolutely. So beginning on my resume, I'll touch on my educational experience. So I graduated from the Advanced Math and Science Academy in 2019, and I'm attending Boston University, where I'm a senior studying media science. On campus, I'm involved with groups such as Her Campus, where I help run social media, which was a great way for me to connect with other women, as well as learn more about managing social media for an organization. On the professional side, I had a retail job in high school where I learned to manage the nitty gritty of working in a retail environment, as well as working on my customer service skills. And then moving on to more professional experience from there, I had the opportunity to be a marketing manager at Boston University Met International, which one is one of the colleges that makes up the university. In this role, I worked with international students to educate them about what their experience would be like studying abroad at Boston University. I also managed our social media handles, which were on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. This was a great role. I got to work with many amazing people. Unfortunately, I left this role due to the pandemic. I, During the pandemic time, I started freelancing. I currently work for an agency where I use where I work with one to two clients a week doing some small graphic design work such as social media graphics and logos. I'm still doing this to this day, so it's been about two years now since I started freelancing. In addition to that, I recently interned for Riddle and Bloom as their social media and influencer marketing intern. I was able to run the Prime Student Organic social handles and I was hired full time from that position to take this on full time as an account manager as well as work on some other projects. I'm currently working on planning a webinar. It'll be our first virtual event and I'm really excited to get started on that. I think my resume does a good job of displaying me as a creative individual. I think this is my strongest quality that makes me a good candidate for this position as I'm always looking for new ideas and I love taking initiative on exciting projects. In terms of my three greatest strengths and one weakness, I'll begin with the weakness and I believe that is I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I can be very hard on myself and I take things personally sometimes. This is something I've been working on for a long time and I'm getting better at it over time. I have a little bit of trouble separating my work and home as I'm a very motivated person, but this can be damaging for me as I tend to tire myself out. So I'm getting better about separating those elements of my life, especially as I work from home. In terms of my three greatest strengths, I think the first one is initiative. I'm always looking to take on new projects and I love being a leader. Second is creativity. I'm a very creative person, both in the artistic sense. I love to draw, paint, embroider, but I also love coming up with creative solutions. And my third greatest strength is community building. I love working with others, both digitally and in person. I love bringing people together and finding out how we can all connect. Question three. Tough deadlines can be so stressful. I think what's really important in this kind of situation is communication. Without communication, how is your supervisor or superior supposed to know that you're struggling with a deadline? You can see someone that looks like they're doing their best and you don't realize how hard they're struggling. So one example I can think of this was actually in college, I had to do a 30 page final thesis for one of my classes and we had about two weeks to pull this all together. This was very difficult for me as it was during the end of the semester, I had tons of other classes to be working on. So what I did is I honestly reached out to my professor and even though I'm not someone that likes to ask for extensions, I just explained that things were just coming together too much far at the end and I needed some extra time. She was very understanding because I was upfront and clear that I needed an extension. And I think this really translates to the professional world. Deadlines are set as general guidelines for getting things done and project management. And so I think as long as you're clear and communicative, it's a great way to figure out how you can do your work more effectively. Question four, disagreeing with decisions is another really difficult part of professional life. One example I can think of where I can relate to this concept is when I worked for Boston University Met International. Because we were working for a university, I had to adhere to the university's very strict color, font, and branding guidelines. This was difficult for me as I'm a very creative person and I love to think outside the box, but I felt very contained by these guidelines, especially because our audience was primarily college students. I really wanted to use trendy and more student-friendly facing aesthetics for our materials. Unfortunately, when I approached my supervisors about this, they told me there was nothing they could do and that we had to stick to the branding guidelines. Even though I was upset with this decision, I explained why I held my position, but I also took into account that they were my supervisors and unfortunately, I wasn't going to disobey their direct asks. I think when it comes to difficult decisions and 
disagreeing with decisions, it's important to realize why your supervisor or higher up might be making that decision and realize that there is a reason for it. I did know that they wanted all of the elements to be very consistent and so I understood, but I pushed it as a future note and brought it up again in the future to see if there was a change we could make over time. Thank you so much. I would love to ask you a few questions now if that's all right. So my first question is, what are you looking to get out of this position? Or are there certain things that you want this person in this position to learn? My second question is, how would you describe your company culture? Especially as we're going back to work from virtual working, I'm really interested in working for a company where there's lots of extracurricular events and ways to get along with your company. Does your company offer anything like this?